All right, we have a couple of different strikes that are either taking place or about to take place. You have the writer strike. Um, you that has already been a thing, and now you have this actor sting uh, brewing. And there was uh, a story that broke on Deadline today that I think is worth discussing because the more the part that intrigues me or I'm interested in the most is always going to be the economics of it all, as well as kind of how this impacts the overall entertainment industries. And let me just read you the title. Hollywood Studios WGA strike endgame is to let writers go broke before resuming talks in the fall. Regardless of whether uh, SAG after uh, goes on strike this week, the studios have no intention of sitting down with the writers guild for several months. I think we're in for a long strike and they're going to be uh, going to bleed out, said one industry veteran. It's been with the, the point of view of studio CEOs. Scribes a uh, strike now finishing its 71st day in the Actors Union, just 30 hours from a possible labor action of its own. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers are planning to dig in hard this fall uh, before uh, even entertaining the idea of more talks with WGA. Not Halloween precisely, but late October for sure is the intention. While some dismiss this as a cynical strike talk, um, uh, studio and streamer sources around town confirm the strategy. They also confirm that the plan is to grind down the guild uh, has long been in the works for a labor cycle that all sides agree is a game changer one way or another for Hollywood. It's been agreed to for months, even uh, before the WGA went out. One executive said nobody wants to strike. Nobody wanted a strike, but everybody knew this was going to make a break. Or this was going to make a break. Interesting. Now, here's the hilarious part. The end game is to allow things to drag on until a union member or until union members start losing their apartments and losing their houses. A studio executive told Deadline acknowledging the cold as ice approach several other sources reiterated the statement. One decided called it a cruel but necessary evil. So basically, stick it out until y'all are struggling and y'all need to get back to work is essentially what's going to happen. Uh, that's what their reporting is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think you know. Nobody knows. We can only guess. But I do think this, though, at minimum, points to what I and other people have been saying. That this whole thing is going to fundamentally, I don't want to say change the industry, but it may weed some people out because Hollywood in general has a budget issue um it, it is uh, they're paying a lot of money and i guess the question rather is where that money goes to because the customers can't even see where all this millions of millions of dollars that often get paid for these budgets are going and hollywood's kind of done themselves in with the types of jobs it is they have the unions all that good stuff so from the actors the writers the person that's for whatever reason getting a uh, a salary to lotion up a actress's legs or something like or uh, uh getting paid for that because there's always a job for the job for the job and that's really how the budgets blow up but with the writers um and up uh, subsequent actors that are it's going to happen but set, certainly with these writers uh, you, you look at these projects and they'll have 50 writers on and nothing of it ever makes sense and does that really need to be the case well i guess that's what's going to be up for debate or dispute Either way, this wasn't sustainable, and now you have one side that felt as if they were deserving of, of, of a raise, if you will, of better conditions, um, and the other side saying probably y'all are getting way too much. So who wins? I don't think it's our dog. Uh, either, either one of us that have a dog in the fight, at least the independent creatives don't. Um, I think this is more so for the people that fit in this union uh, and uh, more so the status quo of how Hollywood has traditionally operated, this is going to impact them more than anybody else. And any event that there's a change, which I would hope that there's going to be, I don't think this actually applies. There needs to be a complete upending of the entertainment industry as it exists, and that especially includes uh, the unions and how it is that they operate, as well as the studios and whatnot. Um, and is this going to be the kind of thing that tips it that way is it going to be the, the the event that we look to afterwards and we say well once these strikes took place 
things really started to fundamentally change within the industry. I don't know. I guess one can only hope. But the studios, it sounds like, are saying, well, once you start eating your cat's food, then we'll start having these negotiations and discussions. But they plan to stick it out. If you like this video and want to get into a new comic book universe, visit Ripperverse.com. Our first campaign for Ice Sum 1 hit $3.7 million, and the pre-order campaign for Ice Sum 2 is currently live. So go check it out and watch the official launch trailer, which is the first animation of Ripperverse Studios.